A couple of years ago, I built this water tower and the plan has always been to use it as the water source for some sort of an irrigation system for a small vegetable garden. We didn't have a garden though until now. So this is our eight by eight approximately veggie patch. We have a few tomatoes, rhubarb, and a few other things. And now I want to build something to automatically water it a couple of times a day. The water tower has an outlet pipe at the bottom, which I then piped into a little water gauge, which is a clear PVC pipe on the side. And then the outlet runs across here and down the side of the water tower to a shut off valve. And then it connects to a regular garden hose which is then the, the true outlet of the water. So I made a few tests with this cutoff piece of PVC. This is half inch PVC pipe and I drilled a few 1 8 holes into it. When I turn on the water it comes out nicely. And actually I think it comes out way too fast with too much pressure and too much water. So in, in the real thing I'm gonna build, I'm going for smaller holes first. I can always make them bigger if I have to. I was also debating whether I should use this PVC pipe horizontally or vertically. Should I use it or should I put it at ground level or should I raise it off the ground? And I finally decided to put it here along the top rail of my fence. And I did that for a couple of reasons. First of all, it keeps the ground clear so we don't have to worry about stepping on it or it is getting clogged with, with dirt over time. Also, it allows me to drill the holes in various angles. So if I like drill a straight one, then I can ex expect the water shooting out the, the furthest. And if I angle them down, I can hit up the plants that are closer to the side here. I can also build in a water clean out plug here on the side. So if there's any debris in my rain barrel there that gets flushed out, I can open this up and hopefully flush it out. And then I will be doing this on three sides. So on this one and then across and then across again. So kind of a U shape and I will just leave the front piece here where the gate is. I will leave that open. Water pressure in the system is so low that I don't even need to glue these fittings. I will still glue them though because I don't want them to come apart. This is PVC glue that does not require a primer. So the application goes a lot quicker. A little bit on this side. Connect them. This is going to be the inlet side. Need to raise it up a little. And then the hose connects to here and we have one run to the front and one to the back. These are my favorite projects where nothing really needs to be super precise. I'm attaching this with a few cable ties just temporarily. And you might have also noticed that I haven't really drilled any holes 
get, and I did that on purpose, because I want to mount it all first and then drill one hole after another and just aim them correctly so that I get the most coverage of this little veggie patch. It's really overcast today, which is nice. It's not hot at all. I mean, still 85 degrees, but without the sun, it doesn't really feel bad. Okay, need to cut this. I'm not going to glue this connection just yet, because I might want to take it apart for before a final assembly. I'll show you in a second. Okay. So I guess this one I have to temporarily somehow attach to this garden hose. Again, I put, I put some real um, pipe clamps on, but not just yet. So let's turn the water on, see what happens. Okay, we have a leak here, <laughs> but I can fix that. Now for the fun part, drilling holes into the pipe. And I'm starting with the th uh, three 32 seconds drill. I can always go larger if I have to, but I haven't really found any drill that can make holes smaller. Right, let's try this, turning the water on. Well, not too bad. I think I can even go smaller with the holes. I'm trying 1 16th now here at the back wall. Okay, test number two. Nice. And I think 1 16th is a lot better. So now with the holes drilled all around, try it out again. It's not too bad. I think I need a few that spray pretty much down vertically, so I hit the stuff closest to the edge. This works really well. I mean, it was on for maybe 30 seconds and there's standing water now at the bottom. So I guess if we can, if we turn it on like a minute at a time, a couple of times a day, this will keep it um, nice and hydrated. What I don't like though is the color of the pipe. I really hate these white pipes. So before I permanently install them, I'm taking them off again and I will paint them. Before I paint them, I want to scruff them up with a little bit of steel wool. I think that makes the paint um, adhere a little bit better.
While the paint dries, I want to install this. This is an automatic water timer and it is specifically one designed for low pressure applications. If you buy them you really have to read the description and if it doesn't specifically say it is for low pressure then probably it isn't and it will not work on gravity fed systems. However this one has a ball valve instead of I guess a magnetic solenoid so when I turn this to the on position you can I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but right here so so there's really light at the other side so it really opens the channel the pipe for the water flow enough if I close it if I turn it off again it shuts down so there's two dials here the upper one says what does it actually say <laughs> runtime and the lower one says frequency so here you can select how long water should be on for one minute three minutes 10 15 20 30 up to two hours and then the frequency one you can set how often it should come on every hour every two three four six eight twelve twenty four forty eight seventy two hours or once a week so with those two dials you can pretty much pun intended dial it in and then hopefully it will just do its thing. Okay, there's no water coming out here, that's great. So if this is off and this is on, then I don't have a leak. And if I turn it on, water should come out. Off. There's a little bit of delay between on and off, but only a couple of seconds. And then the water hose goes on to the other side and of course now it starts raining which is great we want rain but i just painted the pipes so the paint dried enough and i can put it together now With a piece in my hand and bloodshot eyes I walk to the water for a last goodbye He begs so much, he clouded my mind With one thing's clear, the man's gotta die But it makes right, so he said When he held all the keys over our head I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn At the end with the tables turned Lord, forgive me Take me on Down the river where the kids can't find A red hand is center On Where the grave can't cry out Cause I don't wrong Down the river where the So let's try this out I'm turning it on And of course, the minute I'm finished, it starts raining and I don't need to water all day. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.